So this is how the whole system will look like. You can see X of N is input. Now instead of having one single filter, we have a bank of filters. The total number of filters will always be equal to capital I. So in this case, you can see first filter will have the impulse response P0, P1, P2 up to P of I minus one. This comes from the fact that PMN was equal to H of M plus NI. And in this case, we had written the range of M as well as N. Range of M is from zero up to I minus one. So please remember that. And range of N no doubt was uh, up to K minus one. But N will decide the length of each and every filter. How many filters we will have? That will depend upon the value of I. So you go from zero to I minus one. That means there will be total I number of filters. So in the previous example, we had taken I equal to two. And hence we had two filters P0 and P1. If you are interpolating by a factor of four, there'll be four polyphase filters P0, P1, P2, P3. In short, you have to go up to PI minus one. What will be length of each and every filter? That will be equal to capital K. K was nothing but M divided by I. So uh, in our example, M was four, I was two. So K was all equal to two. So length of each and every filter was also two. If you remember P zero N will have uh, H of zero and H of two as its coefficients and P one of N had the H of one and H of three as its coefficients. Please note that we are not carrying out upsampling right now. We are immediately giving X of N to polyphase filters. So the rate of the signal at the input of the polyphase filters is FX but the output signal which is y must be available at the rate f5 f5 has to be i times fx because ultimately we are doing the process of interpolation so to do that we will uh, have upsampling process in the form of uh, a switch on the output side now this switch will keep on rotating at the rate of fy which is i times fx and will keep on reading one sample from each and every uh, output if you remember we had said that on the first time instant h of 0 and h of 2 will multiply with non-zero values so that will be output of p0n so on the first time instant the switch will be connected at the output of p0n on the second time instant, we will take output uh, from which filter coefficients h of 1 and h of 3, which form impulse response of the second filter. And hence, on the second time instance, switch should move to output of the second filter and read the final output value. So likewise, it will go through all the outputs of various filters and come back to the first one. So how many samples it will read in every cycle? It will read total zero to I minus one. That means total I number of samples. So for one input sample, total I samples will be read on the output side. And that will give me the rate of I FX. So that's how interpolation using polyphase filters will take place. On exactly the similar lines, one can discuss decimation. So we will use all the conclusions and only see the final block diagram of polyphase filter structures used uh, in the process of decimation. So this is how the polyphase implementation of uh, decimation process will look like. We will do the same thing. The single filter, which is anti-aliasing filter is broken into D number of filters this time because decimation is by factor capital D. And you can see this time, you have switch on the input side because the rate on the input side will be fx and the output rate has to be fx by d so that will be possible only when you have a switch which is rotating in a clockwise direction it will rotate in the clockwise direction it will start from the first filter then go to the last then second last and so on and on every single time instant, it will give one input to one filter, but that will not give you the output because to get the final output, you must have all the D outputs available together of all the filters. They will be added and one final output will be taken. And for that to be possible, so to read one output sample, we will have to wait till X of N has given its D input samples at the input of each and every filter. So after this switch has covered all the D inputs, that means D input samples, you will get one output sample. So output rate will reduce by a factor of D. It will be FX by D. So what will be the impulse response in this case? P M of N means each and every impulse response or the sample response 
will be h of m plus n d this time where small m will start from 0 1 go up to d minus 1 this time and uh, n will start from 0 1 and go up to k minus 1 where k will still have the same definition k will be nothing but length of each and every filter which can be obtained as m by d where m will be the length of the original filter and capital d is nothing but the factor by which decimation is to be performed m has to be multiple of capital d so this is a polyphase filter structure uh, and interpolation and decimation using polyphase filters this is also one way to improve computational efficiency another way was to insert uh, interpolation and decimation that means upsampling and downsampling processes within the filtering process